If you need a driver's logbook for your EV for business, you need to know where did you go and how far, how many kilowatt hours did you charge, and you don't want to write all of this down yourself, then Tronity is exactly what you need. Tronity connects to your car, a lot of brands are supported, and in the app or in the browser you can see all of this data. You can also manage a whole fleet of EVs and see where they charge at home or for business. Check them out in the link in the description below. Hello everyone, this is the Kia EV3 with the big battery, 81 kilowatt hours, 78 kilowatt hours can be used, it has 19 inch wheels on there and a heat pump and today we're going to do a range test with 110 kilometers an hour because not everyone is driving 130 and it's also a good uh, thing if you drive mostly country road then you know the range as well i'm doing a charging test right now it tells me it's 80 minutes i'm at 10 percent 80 minutes to 90 percent we'll see if we charged it far maybe we only charged to 80 percent <laughs> takes a while i was wrong that was to 100 percent to 90 percent it's 39 minutes now at 34 percent Charging with 125 kilowatt. I'm on my way again. I'm driving now 110 on the speedometer. I reset my trip and everything. I'm in eco mode. The heat is on 22 degrees, driver only, no heat seater, seat heater. Um, yes, and I started with 85%. <laughs> uh, it charged with 30 kilowatt at 84% and to 90% it even said uh, 15 minutes and I was, it's fine. Let's do 85% and then drive it a bit more down. I think that uh, the lower the state of charge is, the more linear it is. That's my theory. I used 10% of the battery and drove 48.2 kilometers. Full range would be 482, but of course this is not very accurate, only using 10%. And when I used the consumption, there was just uh, 180 watt hours per kilometer, I get to 430 uh, kilometers of full range when I know the battery capacity. So I'm guessing it's going to be closer to that than to the 480. I turned down my heat to 21 degrees. Other than this, nothing has changed. It's raining a tiny, tiny bit, the road. I wouldn't say it's wet. The road is not wet, but it's damp, of course, with a bit of drizzle the whole time. I don't, I'm sure it has an, an um, impact on the consumption, but not too much. I used 25% of the battery, drove 115.5 kilometers, that's full range of 462 kilometers, not 480 anymore, gets closer to the 430 and since the consumption went up it will be even less, 420 kilometers that I calculate. Um, it's raining the whole time and the road is wet and it's raining a bit so this is not drizzling this is real rain and look for whatever reason it gets caught here but only on this side because the wipers put it there <laughs> but other than that the drive is great is the Kia EV3 at 110 on the uh, highway and it's amazing it's 
way quieter. Even though it's raining and the road is wet, I don't hear anything from the ground. So the water, so splashing, the tire noise and something. At 130, I heard the wind a bit up here, but now it's gone. At 110, this is not there. It's very, very quiet and nice. And it also jumps around a bit less because we're driving slower. So seat is the same, not the greatest, but I can live with it. I turned around and navigated back to the charger. It tells me 6% I will arrive and a minute ago it was 5%. And the time is, I can see it here, in 44 minutes. So it thinks I can drive 93 kilometers with 110 in 44 minutes and I arrive with 6%. I think as a lot of navigations, again, sadly, it rarely happens um, where the car knows that I'm driving 110 and that takes an average speed for highways, 120, 123 or something, um, which a lot of navigations do and this here as well. So I think I will arrive with a higher state of charge, I think 15% or 14 and it will take over 50 minutes from now. I'm expecting that. It's still raining, but not strong, but of course the road is wet. I used 50% of the battery and drove 218 kilometers, so that's a full range of 436 kilometers. So we're getting to the number that I think we have at the end. <laughs> that's good. Um, we have, how long far do we have? 83 kilometers to go. I arrived with 14%, car says 300.6 kilometers, Google Maps says 306 kilometers, 190 watt hours per kilometer average consumption. Since it's raining, I'm doing it inside here. I'm charging a bit so I can get home. Um, I mean, 14%, no problem, but I don't charge at home with this car since we have a, a card with Kia. Kia rules when it comes to this. All the other manufacturers don't give charging cards anymore. Um, I calculated the range and I get to 431 kilometers, but again, in 100% rain, cold temperatures, the heat was doing something. I had it on 21 degrees at the end. Um, uh, road was always wet and in the last um, again uh, I had the preheating of the battery on it preheated with 4 kilowatt when I was 40 kilometers away till I was 17 kilometers away so for 23 kilometers it preheated the battery so consumption would be uh, a bit lower let's say 180 187 something like this but not gigantic it just for a 300 kilometer drive it was just on for seven 23 kilometers so that's okay um yes charge a bit and then i go home if you want to follow me on instagram battery life one and if you want to support the channel there's a patreon link in the description below and here on youtube there's also channel membership and if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes i have a third youtube channel behind the battery but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye